Hello again, this is John. This is the second video of two for my Maths Curriculum Studies 2 submission. And this is a follow on from video one where I showed the video work solution to the question that I was allocated, which is hikers. And just a brief recap on that question. We had hikers that set off from home base and their distance away from the starting point could be modeled by this cubic function here, which is uh, the distance function. And we were asked in the question to provide, uh, to show in terms of A and B, which are two unknown variables, a description of the maximum distance away from the starting point. And we got to that point down here, this term here, 4AB cubed on 27, which for values of A and B, which are unknown, the question doesn't ask for a specific kilometre or, or meterage, um, in terms of A and B, how far away the maximum distance away from the starting point, which on our diagram on the top right is represented by this stationary point of our cubic. Now, how this question ties in with the Mass B curriculum, um, it touches on three topic areas, being the introduction to functions. Um, so the function given was a cubic. However, the crux of the question actually deals with the derivative of the cubic, which ends up being a quadratic and the key uh, concept to, for a student to grasp there to solve this question is when we have the quadratic, which is the derivative here that I'm just drawing a green dot next to, um, how to factorize it and find the solutions for t, which in the method that I did, because there are other methods, we could uh, the student could have used the quadratic formula, could have used a couple of different ways, but I chose to factorize it, which can be shown at this line here, and then use the null factor law to find the solution for t. Um, so quadratics is a really key concept in this question, probably more so than cubic. Just the understanding of cubic is the general shape of a cubic um, and where the local maximum and minima lies. But quadratics is a really important um, part of this question. The second really important point is kind of a blend between rates of change and optimization. So it's the understanding that in order to find the maximum distance away from the starting point, the student will need to derive the distance function. So that's, that is the differentiation rules. Um, and then the understanding that in order to find this maximum point, it occurs uh, when the derivative is equal to zero because the derivative of a function gives us the gradient of the function at that point. And as you can see here, I've illustrated the gradient m is equal to zero. And these are very uh, common maximum and minimum questions. Um, very often in those types of questions, we use the gradient. Uh, so we need to find the derivative to find the gradient and then make it equal to zero to find the ma uh, local maximum or minimum. So these are the three topics that this question touches on and the three topics that a student will need to grasp in order to solve it. And I've represented that in a little bit more detail in this concept diagram here. So in order to solve the hikers question, need a sound understanding of introduction to functions, but in particular quadratic functions and um, the form of a quadratic factorizing and the null factor law to find the solutions for the derivative but also rates of change and optimization. Um, I do have a fourth one here. It's a bit of assumed knowledge. I haven't put it as a core concept. It's understanding index laws. Because if you can see in our question back here, when we get to f uh, actually finding this um, maximum distance uh, term down here, it does, revolve, it does involve some index laws. So for example, here we have a fraction to the power of two and just the knowledge of that you need to square both the numerator, the ter both terms of the numerator and the denominator. Um, and then also when b squared multiplies with b on three, it becomes b cubed. So there is some index laws in there as well. And that's why I have this out here on the right on my concept diagram. So I've touched on cubics, touched on deriving functions, min and max problems, so making the derivative equal to zero to find the local maximum and index laws. And underneath all that, this question really does involve a sound understanding of algebraic techniques. Uh, they are the building blocks of these questions. And you can see in my stages here that unless a student has really sound understanding of how to manipulate equations and terms using algebraic techniques, they may um, struggle. So that's how to solve the question in terms of how it relates to assessment criteria for Mass B. Uh, I've got a summary table here, which is in my discussion paper to submission. So in the knowledge and procedures, 
uh, the ability to recall, access, select and apply mathematical def uh, definitions, rules and procedures. So that's mainly you know, when we're deriving the function and demonstrating algebraic facility. So I touched on that, the importance of a sound understanding of algebraic techniques to get to our final simplest answer. For the map section, uh, the key point here is the knowledge that in order to find the maximum distance away from the starting point, we're gonna have to, do, to derive the distance function. Um, and that will allow us to find the local maximum or the, um, the turning point of our cubic function. Um, and then also I have a, I've also selected identifying assumptions because when we got our factorized quadratic here on the left, um, the knowledge to, to um, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for here, to eliminate, I guess, or, or not choose AT as one of our solutions because A can't equal zero because if, if A was zero, this whole distance function would be zero. So just the basic understanding of to make an assumption about the values of A. And then finally for C and J, um, to have clear working that the derivative function, for example, could either be um, D on DT or D dash T, that's for the derivative function, and also articulating that we're factorizing and using the null factor law, that there's two solutions. And then I have also added coherent, concise, logical sequences so I like to see um, very clear sequences in the algebraic um, techniques to get to our end most simple and elegant answer. So these are the general assessment objectives that I've listed that are important, um, actually, yeah, that are important to see in a student's result for the hikers question. And I think that about finishes uh, video two of my submission for more mass curriculum two. Uh, for my question, hikers, thank you very much for viewing.